General Petraeus, welcome back. Four years ago, I made a serious mistake, one that brought discredit on me and pain closest to those closest to me. It was a violation of the trust placed in me and a breach of the values to which I'd been committed throughout my life. There's nothing I can do to undo what I did. I can only say again how sorry I am to let to those I let down and then strive to go forward with a greater sense of humility and purpose and with gratitude to those who stood with me during a very difficult chapter in my life. In light of all that, it means a great deal that you have asked me to share my views on the challenges in the Middle East. The crises of the Middle East pose a threat not just to regional stability, but also to global stability and to vital national interests of the United States, for the re repercussions of developments in the Middle East extend well beyond it. Indeed, the Middle East is not a part of the world that plays by Las Vegas rules. What happens in the Middle East is not going to stay in the Middle East. That is what Ambassador Crocker and I pursued during the surge, and all the elements of that effort are once again required. It has been more than a year since the United States commenced military action against the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. And while there have been significant accomplishments, the progress achieved thus far has been inadequate. An impressive coalition has been established. Key ISIS leaders have been killed or captured. And support for local forces in Iraq and Syria has helped roll back ISIS in certain areas. Some elements of the right strategy are in place, but several are under-resourced while others are missing. That said, we should exercise restraint to ensure our forces do not take over Iraqi units. Syria today, Mr. Chairman, is a geopolitical Chernobyl, spewing instability and extremism over the region and the rest of the world. Like a nuclear disaster, the fallout from the meltdown of Syria threatens to be with us for decades, and the longer it is permitted to continue, the more severe the damage will be. So I don't see this as the entering a quagmire. I see this as taking out the most horrific casualty-producing item. 